Here is last Sunday's message in two minutes-ish. We've been using the tabernacle as our model of how to enter the presence of God. And the first thing you would come to in the tabernacle is the brazen altar. So for the sin offering, a ram was sacrificed and through a series of events it was slain, part was boiled and consumed, the body burned completely, and the blood sprinkled on the people. Now, this is of course a complete and drastic oversimplification of the process, but uh, you know we're aiming for two minutes here. So Hebrew says that although this is how God set things up, if this process could have perfected those doing this sacrifice, then there would be no need to keep on doing it, and there would be no more sin consciousness, or the shame, guilt, and condemnation we experience because of sin. But it goes on to say that Jesus is that perfect sacrifice, and that by his blood he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. Jesus' sacrifice really did accomplish everything he set out to accomplish. Our sin is forgiven. Now, once we put our faith in him, our righteousness is not based on our works anymore. It's based on our faith. And we are truly perfectly holy. And that can be a hard uh, thing to wrap your head around, especially if you still feel trapped by sin. But that's part of the sin consciousness. When we truly understand that we have been made and are currently righteous, God's grace empowers us to live that way. Romans 8.1 tells us that there is no more condemnation or shame for those who are in Christ. We are too used to judging our righteousness by our actions, but God judges it by our faith. Of course, our faith should provoke righteous actions, but don't get that backwards. So when Hebrews tells us to come boldly to the throne by his blood, this is what it's talking about. Knowing that you have been made righteous, acknowledging that Jesus' blood was sufficient to deal with sin and to come without shame or condemnation, uh, you know, because of the blood. Jesus has made you worthy to stand before the King of the universe. Okay, that's all. Bye.